Welcome, all my viewers and subscribers. Uh, all right. So today, what I'm going to do is, first of all, make this smaller. All right. Yeah, like that. All right, we're good. So I've been having um, technical difficulties and I had to change up a couple of things. So um, I'd like to thank all my subscribers and all the people who've been there with me through this journey. So everything should be working a little bit better. Let me move her over out the, out the way. So basically, the thing about it is this, um, a lot of things people teach you on the internet, um, I went through the same thing, people telling me do this one way, do this way, another way, and I spent years doing that to I learned it was wrong. So on my previous video, um, I was talking about Dane Taylor and he was said, a uh, producer from Chicago, um, he played a song and he was telling me, you need to take care of the low end. Okay. I agree. Okay. But, but I disagree. He told him to high pass it at 120. Okay. That's crazy. Now, let me show you what that does. So on here with this beat here. Okay. Here's a parametric EQ. Let me see. Matter of fact, I'll just get two. One is where I'm telling you it should be set at 30. Okay. Parametric EQ2. And then he said high pass, which is high pass, at 120. I'm going to play the beat now. Watch what happens to the beat. Wait. Okay. Wait. This one, let me see. All right. Let me put it on next. Okay, let's go. This is at one third. I mean, at thirty. This is what it's supposed to be. Now I'm gonna move this to one twenty. Watch what happens. Me telling you do this to your mix. You're gonna destroy it. And nobody's gonna believe. Watch this, bro. Listen to that. That just ruined your mix. That said 120. So I know when that producer got home and them other 500 people who listening to him, <coughs> when they do this, you be like, that ain't it. It don't sound right. They gonna think something wrong with them. I mean, they ain't told me that. That's what I'm telling. False information. So this video is about vocals. Now, so that's why I want to cover. Many people are telling you wrong. Go ahead and M league it. You ain't gonna get accepted. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. So now I'm gonna pull this to 30.
difference. Now, what I'm gonna do is the next thing, I'm gonna make a video on FL Studio. FL Studio, I got many people to buy your software, okay? And that's great, it's fine. However, you are really starting to disappoint me. I'm gonna do this on another video. Certain things does not make sense. And so I'm gonna have to reveal these things and maybe you'll listen and change your software. If not, I gotta move on, okay? Now, one thing about it, okay? Now, once you record your vocals, this is what you wanna do. You wanna first get this meter. Now, if you really, really wanna record professionally, but you'd have to use a 1073 preamp, okay? And mic mod has a range of all the mics you can ever name. It comes from Antares, okay? And that really are super vocals. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna give you a, a little into that. Okay, let me shut off any other plugins I don't need on. Okay, now, for this vocal track, okay, we're gonna go, this how this order will work. Okay, first, we come in here and we would use, okay, back to this again. Okay, if it's a male or a female. If it's a male, okay, you're gonna pull this up here. If it's a male, you're gonna high pass. Okay, you're gonna take this to 100. That's it. Okay, now, if you're gonna do a female, this goes to 200. Okay, bam. That's it. That's going to get rid of all the room sound, no matter where you record. All right. That's for that purpose. Now, the next thing is this. Okay. From that, we're going to run this into. Hey. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. What is the name? Yo. Um, all right, the next thing is this, so you will get a double voice, but really what, what you would do is, let me see, I'll do it with this. Okay, let's play this vocal. Melodyne off. All right. So since the voice is female, let me play it. Now, if you listen, I would have to take this parametric EQ and come at two hundred. Okay, high pass, 200. Now let me move some of the rest of these down. All right, now let me move these last two down. All right, so now what I'm going to do is move this one to 200.
that's going to get rid of the room sound. Now, I'm going to go sweeping. There's a couple of things I'm going to find for nose, nasally. A couple of things. This is called subtracting EQing. So, it's getting rid of all the bad frequencies and stuff out of the vocals, and it's going to make them sound better. All right? It's going to start sounding clearer. But before I get to this, before I get there, after I knock that off at 100, I'm getting ready to record. Okay. The second thing, we're going to do this proly, and then I'm going to show you on FL Studio regularly if you don't have the plugins. But you use a 1073, and the 1073 preamp, this will be um, a Lindale 80 channel. This is used by Dr. Dre. This is used by a lot of people. This preamp. Now, I just turned it on. And let me play it. And you're going to see. This is a gate right here. This so we can kill the back air. You know, so you, I'm going to show you another way with FL Studio, how to remove the air. You say, well, ain't no fan blowing, everything's quiet, it sound cool. No, it don't. That's the reason why it's a difference when you buy your, your um, song out of the store. Why does yours don't sound like that? One reason is because the air sound, you have to take it out. If it's some air in a lead vocal, if you make copies for the background, it's going to go from shh to shh when it come on. You know that sound, so you can't have that. That's too detectable by the people you're giving it to. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here because these are filters right here. And I would set this the same way we did to uh, out 10K or um, no, really? Let me see, what's the law I can get you? 16, okay, that's a Neve. All right, 10K, fair. Okay, and this, this gonna move the loudness. So 10K from, from there. Okay, and then this is just EQing, all right? And so I will put the gate on. This will get rid of background air, okay? If I want to do it all at one, I can use the compressor. But this is just it's going to sound good anyway, all right? It's a big difference you can hear. Watch as I start to add stuff to the vocals, how much better they get. All right, so we'll put this on, the 1073, and then we will go in here. And what I will use this, I will go into mic mod. Now, my microphone here is a Shure SM58. The 57 or the or 58 is good mic. Number thing, so you can begin to hear, understand this. You're going to need proper headphones and just like when you get studio monitors, understand, it's not the name on the headphone that make them good. It has nothing to do with it. It's the reference range. On the box, look, it should say from 20K to 20K. The best cheap but good headphones is gaming. Not the kind for FL Studio. Not FL Studio, but <laughs> Sony PlayStation. The, the kind that we buy, like, like this, not this. Okay, not this. If you look on these, these they want a hundred and some dollars, and it's a piece of crap. Okay, because it's think it's like 10k and the low end maybe a hundred and something. You're not gonna hear the full bass. You're not gonna hear the full ranges when you do that. So we'll come get Mike Mod. This is my favorite. Okay, this is from Antares. Now, the thing about mic mod, with this, you can turn this mic into 
any of the top microphones in the studio for recording whatever drums, bass, vocals, all of this. So I put my mic, go and find my mic, which is down here, the Shure SM58. Okay, right here, I select that. This is how close do I want to be. When we record, record six inches from the mic. All right, so now you know, see it, it my voice gonna start to sound better. And then we said this side, whatever mic we want. We got everything. Got Telefunkins in here, um, you name them. Everything is here, every mic you can think of in here. So we start with the AKG S, I mean, C1000. Okay, I used to have this mic and we can add saturation. So when we do this, let's listen to the vocal now. Saturation to it, make it thick. It can be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave, cause I don't believe in playing games no more. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is that was just an example. This is what I would run when I got ready to start recording. Okay, now we're back. To regular okay now after I record that vocal okay then the stupid thing that you have to do with FL studio okay so one thing we do our music in MIDI and then we render it right to audio great but why on FL studio when you put reverb or something on a vocal it doesn't copy it okay it only copies and render midi why you don't render audio that's stupid okay that don't make sense it's come on man <laughs> it's just a couple of things about fl so what i had to do was route this to a blank channel with Edison on, and then tell Edison to record. Okay, let me take this off. All right, um, get this one. So I'm going with that delete. Yeah, da, 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 what was that? Um, delete, 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 delete. I'll find the right later. Okay, so what you record the vocal into this now? Okay, I did that. Then you come in here. This is how you use this. Say this was the vocal. Let's see what this is anyway. Um, oh, you know, yeah, you know. Let me show you. I went over here. Over here. Add a sample. Now, here we go here. Now, this here is the air in the room sound. So, you just click this. Take a little pinch. A little pinch right there. Alright, go to toothbrush. Tell the toothbrush. Toothbrush. Analyze this. Click this. It's going to analyze. Okay, that's the noise. Now, you're gonna stretch this over the whole vocal. Everything. So it's all red. Then gonna come up here to this. Wrench tool. Now, it's gonna be all the way over here on the mount. Come, okay, this is half. You just want a quarter ways. That's comfortable. Push accept. 
Now you notice this white line right here, it's gonna get thin. You see it? That's because it's removed the air. Now if I play this, okay, it's not gonna have that noise like you told me. Let me do control Z first. All right, now it's back to where it was. Now watch when I push this, you hear the air. See how it come on? Now, this is what's wrong with your recordings. When they come on like that, this is cool, huh? But if I play this with the music, you ain't gonna hear that, okay? But that's being picked up. And that compressor is gonna make that loud, that sound even louder, okay? So that's why we have to get the air out of it. The next step. So you take a little pinch like this. Do like this. This is just a sample. I wanted something clean like that. Or you could do it here if you want. You know, and it's two brush. Analyze that. Okay, we got all the way to that end. Scoot all the way to this end. Go back to the toothbrush. So I accept this white line gonna get real thin. Okay, and when you do, the reason for that is because now we done took the air out the vocal. Now it's clean. Listen to it. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave because I don't believe. Okay, so it recorded even with the reverb in it. But I had to send this. You're going to have to do this. This is what I'm talking about. FL Studio, boy, y'all, you just don't know how angry I am. Okay. So that means if the voice is coming out of here, I got to come and route this to another track. Then I have to put Edison on that track. Okay. Then record it. Then after it's on Edison, I'm going to show you just how stupid this is. Then after it goes uh, to, let me see, where you at? Uh, Edison. Okay. After it goes over here, okay, to Edison, when I hit this button here, and it's the center playlist, which is over here, okay, it's off time. You see, I had to scoop this to make this on time. So when you export it, it should be right on time, but that's not the case. Now, because if you can't get your line, your, your stuff up, hit this wrench and turn this to none, okay? And then pull it until you can get it on time. Now, as a producing engineer, a person, if I keep doing this, it's gonna get me out the mood. This is what I'm talking about with FL Studio. Y'all have to come on with it. If I spend, $200 on your software, okay? And then here's the other problem with recording, because I'm gonna tell you about this in FL. If you come up here and you come up here to audio and you use this, the troublemaker. I personally, FL Studio, Image Line, don't know why in the world you would even come out with that. And then what's so happen? When you go in there and try and record, it's too much late, even all the way down, buffer side. You still can't do a recording. It's that terrible. Then you got ASIO, but that's better. But the only thing about that with ASIO, yeah, that's easier and it's, you can deal with it. But if I want to stream your software to show other people how to use it, I can't use it because ASIO won't let you stream. You won't hear no sound, okay? How much sense does that make? And how long are you going to keep up into that? Back to the vocals, okay? So after I did that and went through straight this, the next thing we're going to have to do is we got to clean the voice up. So this is where I went into here. Let me see. Yeah. Into the vocal, right? And 
I high pass. Okay? At 200. Now, I have to sweep. I'm going to find the nose. There are spots there. I can make it aggressive. I can take out raspiness. I can add highs and brighten things from different frequencies from knowing. So, 9200, we just knocked the room sound out. Now, I'm going to go through the vocal and I'm going to pick out what's bad with it and then put it back with the music. So, what I'm going to do is just come through here and I'm going to mute the music. Okay, and just let the vocal. Go. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No. I hate to be. Cause me I and don't you, believe but you wouldn't let it be. Okay, we got two things going. We got Edison. Then we got Channing Raw. We're going to get a ghost strap. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No. Okay, there's another one. Okay. Let's see. This one, this one, this one. Mm. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No. I hate it could be, because I don't believe in playing games no more. Okay. Now, I'm going to let it play. Then we're going to go through. This parametric EQ. I'm gonna go and remove the bad frequencies. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave. Cause I don't believe in playing games no more. If that's what you want, go ahead now and let it lie. Yes, don't worry about me. I'll think of you and then I'll think twice of me leaving. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave, cause I don't believe in playing games no more. If that's what you want, go ahead now and let it lie. Yes, don't worry about me. I'll think of you and then I'll think twice of me leaving. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't now, let it the, be. What's the clearest? No. I had to leave, cause I don't believe in playing games no right. more. If that's what you want, go ahead now, now if and let it lie. I can make it yes. pass it. Like a background. Don't worry about me. I'll push forward. I'll think of you and then I'll think twice. It becomes me aggressive. Leaving. Okay. It could be. Now, when I'm coming me up here. And you, but you wouldn't let it be. This spot no. makes it painful I to your to ear. Leave. This spot makes it painful, painful to your ear. So what you're going to do is I'm going to lower the cue. And then I'm going to come here. And I'm going to pull it down. It's going to get pleasant. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave. See, because I don't ear. believe in playing games. No, okay. Now, the rest of this I can do with the next thing I'm gonna use. Okay, so now that I got that, okay, now the voice has to be in key. So, this is here is melody. Okay, let me pull her up. This is one of my favorites. Okay, and if we pull her up, right here, I would hit this button, transfer, and play it. These bobs right here are all of the notes. Now, you have an FL Studio. It's called, um, what is the name of it? Um... I can pull it up. I'll pull it up in a minute. But if you didn't pay for the professional version, it's not going to work. Okay. So this right here is all of vocals that were sung. Now, with this, I can make, exaggerate them or do anything I want with them. But I'm going to do, I'll correct them. Come here. Hit these slide bars over here like this. 
you're going to see that these notes going to come in the form. Okay. You see? They're going to lock. I don't really want it 100%. I want about 90%. I want to leave a little human in, in it. I don't want it just um, aggressive. All right. And drift, it makes it more human sounding. Let's it could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No. I had to leave because I don't believe in playing games no more. If that's what you want, go ahead now and live that life. Now, yes. it's going to start to make it more human. Don't worry about me. I'll think of you and then I'll think twice of me leaving. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave because I... Okay, we can manipulate. We can take it. I can make it do things that... It ain't been said. So now the voice is in key. Okay. You can also use auto tune. You can take it the way it makes the auto tune, turn it off. Just make it put the voice in key. Okay. Now that FL Studio, when we buy these things, you at least owe us to us. Okay. We should be able to correct vocals. All the rest of the software does it except you. Okay, now the next thing is after we got it in key and we did we do it. Now I'm gonna come in with um this SSL, this BS SSL 4000. Okay, you want that console song, so I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, now. It's already did, so now let's hear it now. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave, cause I don't believe in playing games no more. If that's what you want, go ahead now and live that no life. Roll yes, on. don't worry guilty. about me. I'll think of you and then I'll think twice of me leaving. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't. Okay. Now, after I run the SSL channel, what I'm going to want on here, I want something a little bit more dangerous. -er. So we're going to put, I can use R box or I can use, uh, 1176 is gritty okay or I can use a LA2A okay if you regular just have vocals on FL Studio they're gonna sound like you think it sound like a lead but it don't when you use this it brings it forward but there's a way to do that too you can duck at a certain part and they'll do the same thing if you watch my videos, as a LA2A. Let's hear it. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave, because I don't believe in playing games no more. If that's what you want, go ahead now and live that life. Yes, don't worry about me. I'll think of you and then I'll think twice of me leaving. It could be. Okay. Now, after we done that, okay, to that, let's go back and test it with the rest of the music. And first, so we get a vocal setting. I just want the clap and the vocal. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave because I don't believe in playing games no more. If that's what you want, go ahead now and live that life. Yes, don't worry about me.
in this. I want to control that drift. I want to bring you back just a little bit. Listen to S's. S -s 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 -s. Those have to be short control, so we're using the S's. Okay? To get rid of the S's, we're going to stick that. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. No, we don't. Okay. We came down here. We came back. Come down. We came down. All right. So again, we're gonna go in there, Lindale, uh, JKL. Lindale, we're gonna grab the DS. I love about this, you really don't even have to touch it. It just does it. All right. It can be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. came in there we want to quantize the voice okay so we can go right here to this vocal and we're gonna come to that's the first one okay so we'll come in here and come to this first one right click go on the piano roll push control and a to highlight all even though you don't see nothing, uh, control and Q to quantize. Now the vocals on top. It be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave, cause I don't believe in playing games no more. If that's what you want, go ahead now and let it lie. Yes. Now you can see the vocals or on time, all right? They're not dragging, all right? And so with this, okay, these are the steps that you're going to take to EQing. Now, when we add reverb, you just don't throw reverb on the track and you hear with reverb. No, no, there's a mouth. If you do nothing, the reverb is over the whole track. I don't want that. I just want it right where you're singing at. I don't need it. That's why I use a high pass 200. Anything after going towards the 100, I don't need that because that's sub input. The kick and guitars and stuff. And then I don't need it too bright up and highs. So we did that at about 
10K, all right? And those are good spots. So let's play. Peek at me, me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. No, I had to leave, cause I don't believe in playing games no more. Okay, so let me go in here and go to the reverb, okay? Let me see, Pat Nash 3.2, let me see, where you at? Damn it, because I know I routed at you. Oh, here you go. Okay, so from here, maybe you're on the wrong one. You gotta come here. Route to this track. Switch the reverb. Let's go back. The one next to it. Route to the track. That's the delay. All right. We can start. Let's start with the delay first. Be, me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. How I control that is with the time. Now, to cut. It's going to be a filter. Okay. So, what we're going to do is, what I want to do is set the delay time um, with the metronome. It could be me and you, but you wouldn't let it be. Tell it, look, I don't want you putting information down there. I want you at 200. So from 200, and I don't need you tripping, low pass. I want you to be about eight ish. All right. That's what I want the reverb to be controlled and i also gonna take this and copy and do the same thing for the delay i just want them in that section i don't want it all in the lows and way up high i just want the vocal part 
And actually, I could go down to fake 4K. Just a little trick pros do. plugins you have your reverb you just don't throw reverb on the voice okay and then let it spread from all over range from highs to low you control it within the vicinity of the voice and i think i'm gonna do now that i hear this i'm gonna move this parametric eq from eight to four okay Okay, I think that'll fit more appropriate. Let's see. That's perfect. Okay, let me go do the same thing for this delay. Oh no. Parametric EQ. I'll leave it in eight. I'm going to drop you down to four. Four K. Okay. Now let's hear it.
This is Michael Mike. And I hope this tutorial you learned a lot from. Um, I say again, out to MS Live. FL Studio. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. You. <laughs> Let me say this. FL Studio. Back in the day, and I admit this, I used to laugh at y'all. Because at that time, FL Studio, everybody did. It was trash. Then y'all must have got mad and <laughs> say we finna come with it. And you did. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you is this. If you're gonna spend two hundred dollars or more on this, the number one thing it should be, you should be able to record vocals. It shouldn't have no FL. Why are you holding on to FL as you? It's a piece of crap. Okay? You don't see nobody, but y'all keep doing it. You can't record no vocals because the latency, even if you turn it all the way down, with FL ASIO, you're not going to get no vocals, period. So you got to use ASIO, okay? ASIO is better. But the problem with that is if you try and stream, you can't do that. Number two, this, I got to go to Edison to do anything to whatever I want, okay? Then when I push you back to playlist, it done lost its timing. How the hell that happened? How, if the doll set, how is the timing not correct? After coming out of FL, I mean Edison, it plays slower. Then I have to hit the wrench, put it on nine, and slide it. <laughs> Come on, man. Another thing. Punch ins. Who, why is this if I do this? And I came and made a track. Say, this was my vocal track. And I wanted to do a, right here, I wanted to punch in right here. Okay. Do you know that even if you did, it's going to make another line down here. You got this one and another one's going to make there. Why? Why don't you do it like the rest of them? It stay on the same line, like Pro Tools. Okay. Like Studio One. Okay. Like able to lie. What is wrong with you? Okay. So this is just. You blowing it. The reason why people picked up FL Studio. Over Pro Tools is. Pro Tools. They still got that problem. You know. Who gives a damn. Where they got the plugins from. Your assignment is to make the dough. That ain't your business. But no. Pro we gonna do this. And right now. That's why you fell in. That's why you done go on subscription. Because other dolls, they're moving on. They said, and FL Studio, you the last one. You in last place. And your updates that you give, come on, bro. A lifetime of updates of what? Your compressors. Throw them away. Them keyboards, except for flex, get rid of them. And this time, when you do make some, even with flex, when you do, make them like cord, not no cheap version. Okay? They sounds, but they sound cheap. Okay? They do. Why don't you partner up with Korg or Roland? Okay? Where the sounds are busy works. He got a Hermes. At least it sounds original, you know, or whatever. Because your sounds. You can't do nothing with them. You can't make but so many trap songs regular out the box. And you producers might think something wrong with me. You know, I don't know. My beats or something. You know, I can't think of nothing. It's the sounds. They don't. It's not you. It's them. Right? And I shouldn't have to punch in one piece and then put both pieces, the audio up here, and hit G to glue them together. This is insane. 
I don't see why you got that. And get rid of that compressors. It's about time. Where's your 1176? Uh, something. Logic has it. Um, all the dogs do. Except you. So, it is what it is. But, it's messing up my streams and everything. If y'all don't fix this, this should be your next update. I got several people to buy this dog. And if I spend two hundred dollars or spend eight hundred or four hundred on it, I should be able to record vocals without something I can't record vocals like FL Asio. I spend money on this. What good is this if I can't rap or speak on or talk? How stupid is that? Why do you even have FL Asio? Why? After all this time, Mr. Different, he on the channel, he complained about it too. But what did you do? You left it. You just made a new way of clicking on. It's stupid. Come on, man. This don't make sense. I hope you change it. I hope you change all that soon. You know. But. In a minute. I'm going to have to go to Studio One. And nothing. Pro Tools. None of that can is better than that. You know what I mean? Only because this. How can I show people in stream with FL? Uh, that's why it's, my voice comes out late. With FL Asio. That's stupid. Get rid of it. All right. This is Michael. Michael, I hope it's been helpful. To the next video, hit the subscribe button, notification button. Therefore, you'll know next time I'm back in the house. We're going to get on a couple of more things uh, in my next videos. I'm going to upload some more footage from different artists and all of that. And I hope y'all have a good one. Peaceful. If you making beats and doing like I do, a lot of people will tell you they're giving you false information. I'm going to give it to you straight. I'm going to give it to you for real. Let your heart and the sense God gave you in your mind make your own determination. You do not high pass no music for low end at 120. Okay. I'm out here to the next one. See you. Come hang out with me again. And y'all, come hang out with me on my live. All right? And so you can learn some more, get some more. We're going to go on singing, singing, vocals, lineup, instruments, our whole shabam right here.